hello everyone i hope i hope that this sound is coming through just a little warning before i start apparently i have a very unstable connection so hopefully that sorts itself out and hopefully we won't have any problems with sound but if there is just give me a shout hi to those that are here and hi to those that are watching back this is part two of the Roz mama i can't say her full name i do apologize hiya hi shannon mom jill <laughs> i'm smiling at sam's there because hi <laughs> um so yeah i have just warning i've got a few connection issues um it has come up so if, if it plays ball with me we'll be good but if it doesn't then i won't be um so yeah we will be doing part two i will be using lumis and prismas with her skin and I think we'll probably do that today you will be happy if you listen to my plan for Saturday I hope so on Friday night Angie's going to take all of those books out of the cupboard and pile them up behind me for Saturday so my schedule's going to change a little bit on Saturday so bear with me I will repeat this a couple of times on Saturday, I will be on in two sections because it's going to be a lot of books and I'm going to put, it's probably going to take four to five hours, just saying that now. So, we're going to do one till three UK time in the afternoon. I'm going to take a break, have a walk, take my tablets, come back for half past four till probably half six. So I'm going to do two two-hour sections on Saturday with the entire book collection with everything that's been added. So that'll be fun. But I will add that in as um, after this stream, I'll add that up into my community setting so you know what's going on. So <laughs> I hope everyone is good. That's hi Lulu. If anyone wants to lurk today, please feel free. I am totally okay with that. I know there's a lot going on right now. It is here in the background for anyone who would like it. So as I said, I'm going to do the Roz. I can't say her name. Hi, Kenny. Roz, Roz, Roz Rye. Um, Isabella. Her name is Isabella. And it is in her store now. Hi, Laura. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Gary and Robin. Hi. Um, it's in her store. So you can buy it now. She's also... Hi, Anna. Hi, Louise. Um... She has got a freebie out today and I just wanted to quickly run through a couple of freebies with you. So just so you know, I have got, and I printed them off, um, there was a couple of freebies. Now this one is on Roz, <laughs> I can never bless her, I feel so bad because I like her. <laughs> there you go, Roz Rise Sewanama Mama. I think that's how you say it. I don't know how you say it. But we'll we'll just say it's that. There you go. Hey, Katrina. So good to see you. I hope that you're staying safe, honey. Um, so there is a freebie from her. And it made me laugh because it's everyone in the entire world right now. With going a little bit on the, um, the cuckoo side. And a little bit mad with buying toilet rolls. <laughs> Um, so I thought that was incredibly funny. Let me get this in focus for you. Um, so she's given this freebie. Hi, you Tara. She's given, hi, you Lucy. Hi, Claire. Hi, everyone. She's given this as a freebie on her page um, on, I think it's Facebook, her group on Facebook. And then also, if you head on over to Rita Berman's group, She's given these incredibly lovely free pages as well. So there's lots to keep people entertained at such a bad time. Hi, you Sue. Um, so do go check out the artists, guys. They are being so generous right now and trying to help bring some, you know, happiness and lift some spirits. Hi, Leela. Um, so definitely go check. I mean, look at this one. I love this one. So go check every artist they are doing so amazing in trying to help just bring some spirit and happiness in such a really uncertain time so they are all Rita Berman they are free to download just tag them in and go thank them you know 
And this is Roz, who we are doing today. Um, so definitely lots to feast on at the moment. Hi, Mona. So, yeah, nice, nice, nice start to the day when I saw that one from Roz. <laughs> Hiya, Debbie. And I do hope that everyone's well. So we're going to get on with this today. I haven't picked my colours out of yet. I have done this before, couldn't remember which colours I used, so it's like starting from a fresh again. I'm going to do her skin. I think I used Lumi's and Prismas, so I'll get the um, right cards at the right time, hopefully, and see how I get on. I am kind of all over the place today. Hi, Kirsty. So bear with me. <laughs> oh, if anyone wants to do a live tutorial with Joanna Basford, she is live on Facebook now. Um, so if that is something that you really, really want to go do, go hop on over and uh, give her a little like and um, yeah you can go and learn how to draw with her I think she's pretty much doing you know what the books are hi Sharon um there was the book the book that she just did how to draw inky wonderlands hi unicorn oh happy birthday do you know what I was saying the same you know everyone I said, it's just crazy. I think everyone's birthdays this year who's in around like March, April, it's just not, we're not bothered as long as everyone is safe. So totally get it. But happy birthday. As health and happiness is the main priority right now. Staying safe is everything right now. So I totally get that. But happy birthday anyway and i hope that it is a very happy healthy peaceful and relaxed one instead of the opposite where we go you know i say to everyone go and have a drink <laughs> oh and the primer ones prima ones okay they're free too so the pre i haven't got the link for that on a I'll be sure to mention it. I won't give links what I'll do is I'll just mention which ones are free exactly unicorn i said the same this year like i really don't want anything like andrew was stressing because obviously he's not working and he was saying to me oh you know i said i don't want anything health health is first <laughs> happiness is first keeping safe is first and if keeping sane is secondary like let's face it everyone seems to be going absolutely boohoo at home because everyone's at home and they're not used to it um but as i said you know, I think every one of us is in that sort of, yeah, no, safety is priority. Hi, Andrea, our oh, art philosophy. Thank you, hon. <laughs> okay, yeah, so there's lots of, I'll mention them um, in the description. I did also, if you were anyone that wanted the polychromos conversion for the hair, I did put it, So, and I've also put it in the description of this one for the time being as well. So you've got both. Is your screens okay? Like, are you dark or are you nice and light? Hi, Joanne. Okay, so I think I'll start off with Loom. I can never see these. You know your old ones where you've had them for a while and all the silver's rubbed off? Um, I know it's burnt sienna 50%. I can see that. You find that a lot of them do rub off over time. Um, I'm totally okay with it, but it's not helpful for you guys oh bless her jeremiah kettner's doing them as well i think it's great i think it's just people trying to keep a general like spirit of high and happy and keeping that going and i think most people are really on top of that um and it's important right now you know we haven't got to be perfect we have our wobbly days we have our days of absolute dread but then we also have the days where you lean on friends and everyone's kind of you know in the same in the same boat at the same time it's weird because we've never had that position normally situations are very individual or you know you're going through something but it's never usually the whole world okay unicorn you too hon and happy birthday <laughs> um but this occasion, we are united. You know, we are all united with the same thing. There we go. Granted, you know, some countries have got it worse than others, but we are for the first time to say that we're all in the same boat. Same boat. So let's spread 
a little bit of being united and being um, an escape here for people. I'm happy. I'm finally getting my vacuum cleaner tomorrow. I have never been so happy to receive a vacuum cleaner in my entire life. You can only say that as an adult. As a, a, <laughs> There's no way at 13 years old they would ever be happy about a vacuum cleaner. Hi, Lou. <laughs> There's just no way. But I got my text message to say my vacuum's on the way. And I was like, I cannot wait. <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> you can get all those dust bunnies for me. <laughs> Hi, you Shelly. Okay. I'm going to go for 866. I'll stick it in the side. Remind me to change them if I don't. So happy for a vacuum cleaner right now. So, you know when, oh, oh, you want to hear a story? You want to hear a story? Has anyone, UK people will know what I'm talking about, but it is worldwide. The, oh, Kenny, tell me about it. And you don't realise how amazing they are until you haven't got one and it broke and you need it. <laughs> Monica, I did the poly conversion. Did you see? Okay. In the UK, we have a body coach called Joe Wicks. And what he is, he is doing free classes Monday to Friday at 9 a.m. UK time for kids that are out of school to keep fit. <laughs> well, let me tell you, there is no person on this earth that can't do this. However, parents and adults, beware, this is torture. So I adapted some of them because some of them I can't do. I can't do all that bending. So I did PE with Joe Wicks yesterday. Hi, you Francis. I didn't know that muscles had baby muscles because my muscles are crying out like someone has battered me. I feel like I've been in a round with Mike Tyson and got KO'd. Oh, Francis, yesterday's one was all lunges. I'm unfit, girl. I'm unfit. So yesterday's ones was all lunges and my, my legs and my bum, my legs and bum are dead. I am not fit. I can walk, you know, I can do certain, but lunging, oh gosh, no. Oh, uh, Monica, honey, uh, that's a lot to go converting. <laughs> I've done a few in polys, um, but what I would suggest is download the polychromo chart and just look up against it. But I was happy to do this one, but oh my gosh, I have both my ears. Oh my gosh, yes, I did the Thor when you put your hammer to the ground. Yep, did all of that. I'm watching people doing it around the country and I'm like, how did you do it? How, you know, how did you do it? <laughs> I'm unfit. I don't do these things usually. I can do a cross trainer. I can walk. I can do like other things, but doing these lunges, oh, my, my legs. My legs are just completely, completely done now. Um, you'll find... Oh, I tried the plank and I actually did the 30 second plank. I was proud of myself. As I said though, I didn't know my muscles had like baby muscles because I am beyond, beyond... <laughs> Joanne, I'm terribly unfit. Okay, all I'm doing is plotting out shadows, literally. Um, you won't see this too much at first. All this is, it is just plotting my shadows out. So this isn't, um, you, we're going to build, we're going to build up. I did stretch. I stretched before and after, and I think I nearly pulled something when I did that as well. It's just highlighted to me that I really am terribly unfit. And I know pain has done that to me because when you have pain, you realize, all right, stretching's a different matter. You know, they tell you to do yoga stretches and Pilates stretches. You can do them. But when you actually have to go back to doing some sort of physical strength, HIT, anything, um, you don't, yeah. Y 
you ladies put me to shame. I am so, so terribly unfit. Well, anyway, my aim, because we're all, you know, stuck at home, which means it's so easy to put weight on because when you're bored, you snack. Um, and then you're eating the food like, am I bored? Is it snacking for boredom or is it snacking because I'm hungry? And the hand-to-mouth action keeps happening. You know. Oh, it's in the description, Monica. It's in the description of this video as well and the last video. It's in the description. I've linked it all underneath. I've written it out. But anyway, so I, I yeah, I've really got to learn. So <laughs> big, big thing is it's actually a good thing that all these amazing people are putting stuff out there and it, he is doing that for free every day and he said he'll keep doing that whilst we're in this like lockdown period where the kids are off. So my aim is to do it and, and I couldn't do it today because I really am in just a lot of pain. Um, yeah, I, I needed to do something. So I said, right, day off today. And then I'll get back tomorrow. Don't forget, I haven't really done much. Um, so I'm going to try and do it every other at the moment. And if that's a bit too much, because don't forget, I am pushing my back. Um, until I work my way up to something that I can manage, I will do it as and when I can. But if anyone hasn't anyone hasn't um, managed to see it, type in Joe Wicks to YouTube. And it is free worldwide, The Body Coach TV. And he does it every day. And he, what he'll do is a 30 second interval, 30 second off. 30 second interval, 30 seconds off. And he does this all the time. And he'll do half an hour a day. He has got a cast on his arm at the moment because he, he broke his arm. Well, he broke a, something in his arm, um, falling off his bike. Bless him. And he's still doing it. So hats off to Mr. Joe Wicks. He is doing great. He does remind me of Russell Brown though. I love my Supras as well. Oh my gosh, we are getting like children. Do you know, I thought that to entertain ourselves whilst we're in lockdown mode, it's making people get creative. What are we dressing up as on Friday? Can I dress up as um the pyjama queen? <laughs> the pajama queen that sounds good <laughs> I could just make a crown and put new pajamas on they're done I haven't but I need to do something and that's the thing one second I'm just trying to work this out so I've got to put my shadows there um this is just planning it out guys I'm going quite slow but I'm chatting at the same time I haven't, but that is thank you. I'm going to look that up um, because I do find that I do push myself backwards and that was what I, the aim wasn't to do. And everyone's different and everyone's got, you know, different capability and everyone's got different strengths and weaknesses. Oh, nice. <laughs> you could draw a beard on and look like him. That's a good one. I might do that one. Yeah, no, it's fun. It's fun. So I definitely recommend checking him out. Um, I have been enjoying just watching him. And it's so fun watching the nation uh, join in with him as well. It's been a, a very fun, fun thing to watch in the mornings. You know, I'm up earlier at the moment. Time just seems to stand still. It's like constant, you know, one day is the same day as the last and the next. And it's, uh, it's, it's really a, a really weird vibe at the moment, you know. I think everyone can relate to that. Okay, I'm going to come down here. Um, I might do a little bit more under there. We'll build it up as we go along. Okay, so I want some there. This is planning out. This is my little roadmap. I call it a roadmap because it really is. It maps out where I'm going to go with colour. So this really is just a stepping stone to say where you want your lights and your darks. That's what we're doing. So it's just a starting point and you'll find that you're going to need that. You know, pretty much I like to start off somewhere and it just gives me a starting point. Oops, I'm off screen. 
Does anyone want to share their favourite watercolour pencils with Rain? She's trying to get some recommendations. Mine would definitely be the um, Supras. Let's come up here. <laughs> I was trying to think of an idea as well, like a... Oh, I don't know something to get us but to be honest the ideas I'm coming up with are all good when I, I you know think about them and then I'm I'm about to do it and I've got no motivation which is terrible and I'm finding that a lot at the moment you know I'm thinking oh I'd really like to have a Christmas movie binge and then I think oh lord no it's too early but it's trying to get this oh and I've seen many many people putting their Christmas decorations up because the kids are home they're trying to make it happy and I just think that's just a lot of hassle. But, um, but it's trying to find your happy place at home, whatever that might be. And bless Lou, she um, sent what we call our COVID book. Um, hold on. Oh, my God. I can't even get out of my chair. Hold on, guys. Oh, my gosh. I'm in so much pain you would not believe. So, <laughs> so Lou got this one, let me just show you, which is keep calm, and you know us Brits like to say this, keep calm and, well anyway, it's all different sayings, so keep calm and fall in love, keep calm, um, eat cupcakes, chocolate, drink tea, drink coffee, dream on, like, etc, etc. So, what it is is to whenever you're feeling you know down or etc whatever it might be I thought whenever I watch the news this is not going to be a fancy book it's not going to be a book that I'm going to be um, doing like you know all impressive coloring when I'm watching my five o'clock news because I watch it every day at five o'clock to see what the latest is I'm going to grab this book and what I'm going to do even if I do two birds whilst I'm watching the news is decreasing my um i'm not it's not anxiety i get stressed out watching it hi Jesus. um so i thought every day at five whatever doesn't matter what you know what i'm doing at that moment in time i always watch the news at five won't be today but i'll watch it after i would grab this and even if i do the the candles or i do some leaves i'm just doing this so that is what I'm going to call this, it's my, my news book, is to reduce the stress of that. So just grab a book when you watch the five, if you're here, you know, we have the five o'clock briefing every day, lets us know what's going on. I watch the news and grab this. Hiya, Amanda. <clears throat> oh, where are you going after this then? Oh, uh, see, I do because I need to see. I've told myself not to watch it as much. I was watching it all day. However, at five o'clock every day, we have the briefing. I, I think every country is getting it. And it's just letting you know what's going on. So my thought was, just whilst I know what's going on, grab that. And it reduces some sort of like bad feeling. Um, so yeah, we're calling that the co kick covoids arse book. Um, that's not a bad idea, is it? <laughs> so definitely, um, a good idea to grab something, even if I'm not feeling it. Oh, and I did Steve Squidoodle Inc. <laughs> I can never say if that is perfectly right or not. He did like an NHS and carers one. I stuck that in the door. And next door has a little baby, and you know, by Charlie's hand has the hot air balloon of the windows of happiness. She's got that now in her window with her child. She did that, and I, and the other neighbour with her child, um, did that. So I, I spread some happiness yesterday, and got them to do the hot air balloons. <laughs> um, yeah, just grab. I mean, I grabbed my felt tip on that honour, you know. 
so that was one. And it's Desiree's birthday. She's not here um, at the moment, but it's Ray Ray's birthday today. Ah, oh, happy birthday. There's so many birthdays. It's Desiree's birthday as well today. Um, so Ray is our mod as well, as you know. Um, and it's her birthday. Hiya, Christine. So we've got a lot of birthdays today. Is it like a special day? Because we seem to have many. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? Or is... You know, people say, what is happening? <laughs> Shannon. Yeah, there is just uh, quite a lot of birthdays. There's some birthday cheer. So what have you done in your self-isolation birthdays? Share, how did you start your mornings? What is your perfect way to wake up at this moment in time? Do you have Skype or FaceTime calls with your family? Hiya, Melody. You say it. Who else says it? Someone else I know says it as well, Shannon. <laughs> you say it best, though. Especially when you say it out loud. <laughs> okay. So I'm just setting out some... Oops. That one needs to be erased slightly. Let me just erase that little line that I seem to have done. Okay. Right. That is just an outline. Next up, I think I'll pick up another Lumi. We'll, we'll put this all together. But um, we're just setting a tone. Was it that colour? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my um my cousin he he put a picture up today uh he's an nhs nurse and he uh he's not that long been in the nhs so he's like working in the hospitals right now with what it is young guy james lovely and he put a picture up today and i was like i knew you guys were so special i'm so proud of you right now um, so they're working around the clock in the NHS. What they must be experiencing is just beyond. And um, I just said, you know, you're my heroes. And it made him smile. But yeah, he just put a thing to say, we go at work for you. Please stay home for us. And it's a picture of him at work, you know, in this time. I just thought it was so nice. And I completely forgot he was a nurse completely forgot i'm thinking that he's still a porter he used to be a porter years ago when he first started working from after school and then he wanted to qualify as a nurse bless him and yeah i'm so proud of them okay so i'm just um i'm just making those shadows a little bit more of a standout and then we'll start layering up and bringing it together as i say the end result is supposed to be more like this but this is how i start off it does build up it does build up hi pickle how are you but oh my gosh i'll be so happy i know things i'll be so happy when we get to the day like d-day where it's we've got no new cases and we're all back to normal life and you see the streets bustling with life again that'd be a good day <laughs> oh you're so funny i used to do that i used to have on the full telly on mute and then my phone with the chat okay so i'm just uh just building on that a little bit. Yeah, God bless you. <laughs> Double Sammy. Double Sammy Whammy. Oh my gosh. 
have you watched anything good whilst you've been at home have you been reading anyone what have you been actually like how have you been keeping yourself occupied has anyone actually been able to color because i know many of us have not been concentrating have you just been overrun with like kids <laughs> kirsty <laughs> um what is happening to keep you occupied what's willow i don't know what that one is nice nice i like all the disney plus yes to the disney plus me too what are you playing on ps4 francis yes i said what it will teach us for sure is how little we actually need and ballet <laughs> sorry <laughs> oh dear yes disney plus came into our lives not long ago didn't it i know so poor vicky can't have disney plus because they won't accept the hungarian credit card detail so she can't even get a free trial oh sims 4 i i must be one of the only people in the world that does not get the sims i tried and i was like i am just not getting this yes yeah, shannon i've got quite a few books out pick one minute i'll tell you how many i've got one two three four five six i've got seven books um at the moment out on the side and they're what i want to read in a row so far when i finish streaming um i'm gonna lay my muscles and baby muscles that are hurting <laughs> down and i'm going to read and i've been reading yesterday i collapsed i was so tired um so I've been, I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting up so early, so, so early. It's like the days are just not, mold, they're just moulding, aren't they? Oh, good. He's at home. <laughs> Someone else doesn't understand Vicky's. <laughs> Yeah, I did. It's funny. I used to be able to read. Um, I don't know if anyone was the same years ago. I used to read with the telly on. I could multitask. I could read and watch something. Uh, now, no, I need silence. Is that because patience wears thinner as you get a little bit older? What is it? What is it? Why can't we multitask as much with that kind of thing as we used to? Is it because our patience? I think it is. We haven't got the patience for the noise and we end up having to reread the same line about 50 times before we actually manage to um, absorb it. I love the Harry Potter films. I have rewatched them so many times recently. I stick them on in the background. Um, the Marvel films. Now, I don't know about you, but I prefer the old Marvel films to the newer ones. And I must be in a minority, but I wasn't that keen on the latest Avengers. I prefer the early ones, but that was just me. Um, I loved the Affinity War, but I didn't like the very last one. Mm, I do now. I think it's patience. I think as we get older, patience wears thinner. I have seen the Lunapedia. She is my favourite character. I've got so many Luna Funkos and things. Yeah, I have. I will get that at a later date. I love A Court, a court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass is amazing. I've still got the very last book to read, The Frost and Starlight. Um, I've just also recently got the... Scythe uh, Trilogy, I think you must have heard it. Yeah, I think the same, I think that's why I say you've never needed online more than you have now. So that, that applies to everyone, you know. Everyone at this moment I think is just so reliant on digital and we used to say, put the phones down. 
get off the phones. Hi, Heather. Put the phones down and get out. And this year, 2020, get pick your phones up and stay indoors. <laughs> it's, it is like a com- complete polar opposite. And um, now we're relying on the digital era. But then saying that, if you've got your families at home, spend time with them. They might be... I don't know, driving you a bit loop to loop because some of them might be really tense or you need your five minutes peace, grab it. But spend the time with them because you wouldn't necessarily do it as much if they're out working. Um, so, you know, grab the ball games, sit down, have dinners together, make it a part of your day. So definitely, definitely spend time with them as well if you are on your own then pick the phones up you know pick them up and say look you know I'm bored (laughs) there might be someone out there who's like yeah me too let's do something online there's so many online games that you can do together there's like scrabbles and stuff you can also get on the words with friends anyone got words with friends um so words with friends is like an online scrabble game you can get on to doing that with your friends online there's so many different options just don't feel that you're on your own in this definitely pick your phones up reach out to your friends and have your five minutes peace if the kids are home have it own it the partners are home as well you know so say here hon have the kids it's my time (laughs) um yeah I think it's going to teach us a lot I think we're going to definitely be more in tune with everything and I think we'll probably we're not talking about it's it's you know the people that it's brought the worst out forget that you know you're going to have that in every situation I'm on about the people that's brought the worst the best out not the worst so you know it's going to change our way of thinking and as I said it will also make you realize how little you need because we're so quick, I think, these days, because everything is a digital era anyway, to say we need, we need. And I think this is making us, because we've got to cut back, because, you know, either someone's lost income or whatever it might be, it's going to make you realise that you don't actually need half, it's nice having it, but we don't need it. So I think it's going to teach us that as well. So let's try and turn a negative into a positive somehow. Oh, don't get me wrong, the negative is out there, it's, it's in our faces, but th- there's also positives, um, spending more time with your family, and connecting out more, or picking up a phone to someone who you haven't spoken to in so long, because you've both had busy lives, and that kind of thing. Hi, uh, I, Eli. That's okay, it doesn't matter, you're never late. It's not late, you just joined a bit later. <laughs> Okay, I need to find my card. Bear with me. I don't even know what colour it is. What colour is it? It is number 872. Yeah, 872. Um, 872, where are you? That rhymed. He yells a lot. Oh my gosh, Brian. (laughs) Okay, is that nice in your screens? I think it might be. I can turn up a little bit. There we go. Is that better? Okay, can you see we've got some plotting of shadows now? Now we're going to start to layer up a bit. Mm Mm-hmm. Joanne, me too. Me too. Heather, that sounds perfect. It's not a foul. It's not a foul. It's family time. I love it. How's Ian? Okay, so I'm going to start to bring in Burnt Ochre 10% and I'm going to go from all of that shaded area but I want to leave a highlight too because we've got to go in with more. Okay. Oh, I forgot I had it pre-ordered. Anyone who likes reading, look at this. I can't, why do I do this to myself? I can't get up and down like I I was yesterday morning before I did P, Joe Wicks. Oh my gosh, it feels like someone's punched my legs. Um.
let me just quickly show you. So I forgot I had this on pre-order, but it came yesterday. Okay, let me show you this. So this is Sarah J Mass new book called Crescent City. Wait how thick this thing is. Just 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 take that in. What kind of book is this? It's just like a, it's a brick. Look at it. Look at the size of it. What, what kind of book? A normal, I mean, this one's still big, but it's not as big. But I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> How many pages is this? Yeah, I think you're right. It is, have you read it? Have you got it? 803. It's like, it is human. Well, anyway, I can't wait. So this is after the one that we. But look at the inside cover. How beautiful it is! It's stunning. I do forget. I shouldn't always pre-order stuff. I usually don't. <laughs> but the size. And then this was on sale, and I did. You know, I only got this the other day. This went from twenty pounds to under a tenner, and it's the scythe. Um, trilogy and originally it's this price and it was nine pounds and it's all three of the Scythe books so this one's just recently come out the toll um, and then this one hold on let's make sure it's in and I've got it right so if you are in the UK and you haven't got these books and you want them they have just gone down to nine pounds so take care Louise it is really huge um, but it's a lot for your money isn't it but I forgot about the other one so I've got all my books I got all my books lined up for I've got another one over there as well lined up for the next two weeks so yeah, the Crescent City is humongous, humongous, so I'm okay for reading. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Okay, yeah, have you read them Shannon? Because I know you love your reading. Shannon's doing the Owls um, by Book Christ. That has gone so flushed out. Bear with me. I hope that doesn't flush out anymore. Okay, let's get on with it. Um, she's doing. There is loads of reader funds, and there's a. If you've ever wanted to do a reader fund, and you haven't had the chance because life has been too busy, and now you find yourself at home, now's the time. Now's the time. So I would suggest if you. There's so many booktubers. Oh, she's not going yet. <laughs> she's not going yet. Um. <laughs> That's okay. I'm tired. I'm always permanently blue and tired at the moment. And I can't get to the nurse to have my B12 injection, which is overdue. So I am lagging behind all the time. Um, which I'm fine. I'm, I'm taking vitamins, of course, and uh, you need your B12 injection because the GPs are shut. It's only phone, so I can't have it. That has really washed you out. Let me take that. Let me take that down. Okay, so we will build on this a little bit more, but for now. I'm just keeping up with where I want to go. Okay, so I'm going to bring in some polys, um, polys, prismas, prismas, um, in a minute. Okay. But yeah, keep your keep yourselves entertained. Take care, Suze. <laughs> Yeah, bless Andrew. So, if you didn't hear in the beginning because you wasn't here, I'm just going to say it again. On Saturday, so on Friday night, so for Saturday's stream, 
I'm gonna divide my stream into two on Saturday. So I'm just letting you know now. Oh, okay, Suze, I said they were shutting, shutting. I think the pharmacies might be taking over those things. So I'm gonna ask because I genuinely am feeling so, I don't know if anyone else needs B12, but if you're overdue, you're so tired. So I'm gonna, but then part of you doesn't wanna go into the surgery. <laughs> I'm definitely going to check. Hi, is it Mieki? Hi, Mieki. Um, so on Saturday, I'm going to um, stream in two parts. And I'll tell you why. Because it's going to be a whopper. And it might be a four to five hours. So if we divide it into two, that's the way we're going to go. So what we're going to do is come on early. Now, those of you in the UK, it will be fine. For those of you in the US, it might be too early. I hope it's not. But the reason I'm doing that is because it is such going to be so much to do in one sitting. So I'm going to divide it into two. Now, it depends on the day on pain levels, but I might be able to do both in the same day, in which case it, it's great. So I was thinking of doing 1 till 3 p.m. And then half 4 till half 6. And I think it's even going to be another part. It is going to be my entire colouring book collection part 2 updated. Because, yeah, two years ago is a long time to have done that. So you can imagine how much I've accumulated in that length of time. It is, yeah, it's a lot. So... If you want to join in on that one and take a shopping list down, that will be fun. So I'm going to come on at 1 my time, 1 o'clock my time on Saturday. So I'm going to do two sections for you. On Friday, Andrew is going to get all the books out of the cupboard because I can't get them down. All the books out the cupboard for me. He's going to stock them up behind me. And then it forces me on Sunday to do an inventory. <laughs> so you're going to have that on Saturday. So like the last time, we're going to get out, go through quite quick. I'm not going to do a flip through of every single one. I do small snippet of every one and go through which ones they are for you. So I'll try to, you know, pronounce the names right. If not, you'll have the name of the book and the artist in the screen. So yes, be ready. So it, may, it gives me time to, on Sunday, because Andrew's here, so he can help. He can do all of the lifting, bless him, and all of the putting back in the order for me. He will be my hero. So that will be on Saturday. So it'll be 1 p.m. UK time till 3. I'll go give myself a stretch out, a walk you know, chips walk, medication, bites for lunch, come back. And if it needs a further part, then it will be the Tuesday. We'll start that with the Tuesday. But I'm going to try and get it all done in one day. So if I even if I have to break it up further, I will do. But that's fine, you know, that's, that's what the streams are there for. And I thought it would be a fun one for everyone at this time because you know that those kinds of things are very well received. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave that all white for now because we're going to build up. Okay, so I'm going to come down to these little sections here. We are going to build up on our hands. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I love those sorts of streams myself, you know, and people do them pre-recorded. We did our one live, oh my gosh, two years ago, and I preferred it live because you get to ask a question if, you know, I'm live. Oh, Amanda, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Okay, Kenny. So yeah, I am definitely, definitely looking forward to that. But as I was saying, like if I did it, if I did it in pre-recorded things, it's not, it's going to be much more structured and edited. But what I'm going to try and do is divide it up into like hardbacks, um, Asian artists, um, like uh, smaller books, postcard books create space books certain like but I'm going to try and do it that way 
<laughs> Sorry, Lucy. It's going to be so much fun. I promise you that. I absolutely love those kinds of things. When I said to Andrew, bless him. He's my witness. He'll tell you on Saturday. He's going to have muscles of steel after doing that. He, um, he's my hero on lifting anything. I can't. This so high. Isn't Books are heavy. Books are heavy. And you don't anticipate how heavy they are. So the stacks of him, yeah, he can do that. I'll just do the inventory. And a, an account. <laughs> and uh, you can shop. <laughs> As I said, it's a shopping list. And he can do the muscle. Perfect, right? Muscle versus host versus shopping list. That is what it's going to be. And we're going to do a thumbnail, hopefully, where Andrew's like shocked at the amount and I'm standing behind so proud of my stack. But I don't know if he will get in it, but I'm going to try and get him to do that. He want, he suggested it, not me. Of him going like, ah, because of the amount. And then there's me going, I'm so proud. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> Morning, Debbie. Oh, yeah, well, you can, right, this is the thing, you don't have to buy them, you could just put them in your, in your wish list for now, and when this is all over, I think we all deserve to spend something, right, because we've been, we're going to be penny pinching for a long time to come, yeah, I think we're going to be watching our expenses for so long, and literally saving any penny for just getting by, that when this is all over, I think we're all going to deserve the biggest me spend that you can think of and it can be in that time he is andrew's in the bedroom i think i think chip's with him oh no chip's in his bed chip's in his bed andrew's uh, i think he's gone to bed <laughs> he's tired uh, he's bored you know and his skipping rope broke today so andrew's trying to do some skipping it's very good for you and um he took it out the back and he came in and he went it broke it was only a really cheap one. <laughs> no, I hate that saying. It reminds me of that weird little creature saying, oh no. <laughs> it is so quiet in this house, isn't it? But I quite like it. It's like all the, you know, all the mayhem that's been. You kind of like the the sort of silent time. It's, it's your time. It's nice. I do hope you're all okay. I honestly, this time of year is so. Oh, I'm gonna say it again, precious. Um, to be able to just come on and zone out, and it actually gets me to color because that's one thing that I found I've not been able to concentrate on. And I know many of you are the same. Um, and I said my mojo is just blown away. Get it back. It will come back. You get to a point when you start to get into a, a routine, a new routine. Okay, let's leave that for now. Let's come here. But I also, was, I was thinking, why didn't I pick up my diamond painting? So diamond painting will be something that I want to do as well. And I think a lot of you who were thinking about it might want to pick one up now because you've got the time for it. They are fiddly, um, but they're so fun. So I think also I'm going to set the table up with a diamond painting and do that. I think that's a good idea. But for now, this week, my hoover comes tomorrow. Yes, that thing, Christine, that thing. <laughs> it freaks me out. It really freaks me out. <laughs> I can't. I just can't. Oh, it just makes me, it gives me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, it's... um. It is Melody, it's because our time was different, it's now the same, it's back to how it was. So our clocks went back at the weekend, or forward at the weekend, but back to the time that we were all in a routine with. So we're back to normal times, and not all over the place. Our clocks joined yours this time. So yeah, back to normal. But on Saturday I will be here at 1 o'clock, 1 in the afternoon. And I will put it into two parts. It always gives you a break, you know. It gives you a break. Yeah, our times are all different. It um it, it forced me to 
get confused, which doesn't take a lot, but I was thinking, everyone's saying to me, where are you? And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, what have I done? I thought I was okay. And then I looked and I was like, oh, your time went forward. And I was like, oh, I get it now. I was thinking like my clocks had done a funny thing on me. Um, And then I realized that you guys went forward way early. Oh, only on Thursday. Yeah, only on Thursday. So I don't re- I only do Thursdays every now and then if I can't do the Tuesdays. Um, but I'll be here Saturday. Um, so yeah, bless Connie. She it's more convenient for her to do the afternoons on Thursdays. I was like, oh my gosh, don't even ask, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> well trust me Christine it doesn't take a lot for me <laughs> like, I didn't realize you went very like it seriously threw me off your time because you went like two and a half weeks earlier than us or even three weeks um you went early what is with that why did you go so early I thought you only were meant to be a couple of days ahead of us and then we joined you but you went like way ahead And I'm thinking, we're not even going to get there yet. So, that's what happened. (laughs) It went all where you went and jumped ahead there in the US a bit too early for me. I think it was also in Malaysia, wasn't it, Melody? You went at the same time as the US, am I right? And uh, yeah, you all confused me. You left me behind. I was like, oh, but Jesus, you left me. Why have we got three weeks yet? Because me looked it up, me and mum, I'm thinking, why is Dee Dee on so early? It wasn't, it was your time. <laughs> like she was on super early. I was thinking, what's going on? Has she woke up really early? Okay, next up, what am I doing? I'm going to another brownish colour. That's what I'm doing. Okay, I think I'm going to pick up 077, which is burnt ochre. If I can find it. Burnt sienna. What about that one? No. Do I want that? No. No. Ignore me. I want burnt. Burnt ochre. That's yellow ochre, brown ochre, all the ochres but the ochre that I need. I can't find it, bear with me. Whoa, why am I hitting the camera? Sorry about that. Woohoo, what do you do? If you don't mind me asking. It's fine if you don't want to say. Just say prefer not to say. I'm like, that is fair enough. Is that the one? Is that the one? No. I swear these grow pairs of legs. There we go. And run away from me. Louise. I hope you don't mind me asking. How much is shipping from Diamond Art Club? Because there's, there's ones on there. As again, I'm making my list for when this is done. I'm like getting them ready. Okay, burnt ochre. Yeah, perfect one. I see. This is like a brown tone. And it's because, I don't know if you've noticed, but people who generally have very rich strawberry blonde hair have usually got this slight, they've got freckles as well. Um, but it's like this slight burnt ochre tint. I've noticed my friend has, and she was, born with the beautiful red hair um and she's got this gorgeous sort of tone in her skin like her I don't know it's like an orangey with her freckles oh what is that worldwide melody because they do the this artist her ones and I've always looked at the hold on um this amazing artist, Mandy Manzano, is that her name? Um, she does, they do her, 
her ones and they're stunning like the Bayou lady and she, she does all the Disney ones doesn't she um, but these are all she does colouring pages as well she does them into diamond paintings I know she's got one of them in diamond painting um, which one is it this one I think no it's not that one this one is a diamond painting um, but she, they do, Diamond Art Club do her stuff, the Mandy Manzano, and they also do um, Hannah Lynn. Oh my gosh, can you wait for the day that our shopping lists have grown so much and we're just going to have a major spend? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness me. <laughs> oh, you haven't? Yes, Louise, yes. I know though they're, they're just beautiful you do them so quick you you just do them so quick Louise Cooper is like a, a diamond queen dabber like the quickness of her hands I'm, I'm just jealous she's done Hannah Lynn's you did Elsa didn't you now you're doing Anna from Frozen and you do them so quickly what's your secret <laughs> how do you dab so quick Ah, oh, see, you're all united in that. So you're all liking them and loving them. They they look like brilliant quality. I'm doing um the Alina Lazareva one, and I am filming it in sections to add it all together. And I did stop for quite a while because I wasn't in a place to sit for it. It was just killing my back, and I didn't want to like be rude and say, but it's just how it is. But um. I, I can just take it and lay down with it, it's fine. It's just such a big canvas to lay down with though. It gets awkward and then you get the diamonds all over the bed or all over the floor. Then Chip decides to jump in them and the diamonds go all over the board and you're like, then they stick all on the canvas and you're thinking, oh my God, this is not going very well. Um, but I, I do, I feel like that and reading. Diamond painting and reading is going to be something that's going to be a little bit more of a constant through this, I think. Um, and I have another one to do as well from Victoria's Moon. So there's a couple. Yes, you jumped on the bandwagon as well, didn't you, Christine? How are you liking it? You'll get there, Melody. Do a little bit. Just That's my thing. Do a little bit at a time. Just a little bit. And try just seeing how you get on. And even if you do like, I don't know, half an hour. And then the next day do half an hour. Before you know it, you've built some up. It might not look like a lot of progress at the time. But if you did that every day, you'd soon get there. It's hard to get motivated. I know. It really is. And I say that to everyone right now. Okay, I'm going to come down to her her hand. It is super hard. So I'm so, so slow today. <laughs> your son's giving you the look <laughs> oh my goodness yeah do you know what don't ever feel bad if you don't but it's there for when you need to lean on it for something to do and yeah but yeah, her her ones and the Hannah Lynn ones look amazing. I mean, the Mandy Manzano ones are just so beautiful. And I showed one to mum and she's like, oh no, I'm not keen on that one. I prefer the others. I just prefer them. I like them. I think they're beautiful. There's so many different designs. And Victoria's Moon don't have um, Mandy Manzano. They don't have Hannah Lynn. So Diamonds Art Club have got that, you know, one up, I'd say. The Victoria Moons have got the f affordability, I'd say that, you know, but I think personally, just my opinion is that there's going to be a heck of a lot of sales coming up because there's a lot of businesses that are struggling right now and they'd rather have a sale than lose money altogether. So I think you'll see, just stick with it. I think there'll be a lot of sales going on um, because they've also got to earn a living and although you know it's really hard it's like two evils some families can afford to do it at this moment in time and some families can't because they've lost their income but if you can then look for the sales there's going to be some I do believe that you know as I said 
companies they want something they don't want to lose or or be you know take their companies down for, for temporarily while this was all going on so they'd rather have a sale than not what are you drawing at the moment christine are you working on a new book or some pdfs for the store for the etsy store okay we're getting there we're getting there And if you've got a channel, please throw up your hearts um, because people will have the time to go follow you. <laughs> you know, if they might not have been in touch with it all before, they might be now. We've got a lot of lovely, amazing channels. We've got live streamers, we've got colorists, we've got artists, we've got... Um, people that do diamond paint, people that do a bit of everything. Oh no, Louise, you you too, hon. Have they furloughed you for a while though? Because we had to get in touch with the government and, um, <laughs> well, self-employed don't get a payout till June. That's how long it is, June. So it's like, well, what, what are they doing in the meantime, you know? How are they going from March till June? It, it, uh, well, anyway, I hope that everyone has got something to um, to survive by right now. And remember, it is just about the necessities. Um, so there's no harm in window shopping. I, you know, window shop to your heart's content. We can still window shop and we can still dream. <laughs> we can still dream. It's a good thing to do. <laughs> okay, coming back to my original colour, I am going to deepen that up a little bit. Uh, so don't be weary to do this. You know, this is the fun part. So I'm just especially coming into this eye section. Yeah, you have to be, Louise. That's why I'm saying, you know, also if you've recently, in within the last few weeks before this happened, either been laid off through work or, or health, you can get in touch with your, I was, I was listening to it, you can get in touch with your employer and they can furlough you still because it was within a couple of weeks of this all happening. So do make sure that you follow the advice. There's so much advice online that you can get and it's hard to do it on the phones. The phone lines are just booming. But if you are able to get furloughed, please try that. It's um it's very difficult times right now. And obviously, you know, especially you've got a family, um, you know, you've got your your, ba your baby girl at home. So <clears throat> yeah. I wish I could do more to offer words of comfort but just know that everyone is here and as I said here in this stream you definitely are more united with people because everyone's going through very difficult situations right now so um you're not alone hi Mandy <laughs> okay next up we're going to work on the face before we come down right so i'm going to come back on then over to my 872 and we're going to bring this in more and then we're going to introduce some prisma colors um so this all will be colored but i'm just trying to blend this all together and i'm only going i'm not going very heavy-handed that's why the streams are really nice as well because you get some time with your friends you know like we've always done keep some normality going but as I say if I am ever not able to come on I will put it in my community tab to you and say I can't come on today it just means either that I'm having a really bad day or you know I'm just really feeling a bit crap <laughs> you know it, it happens it happens we have our days where we don't feel very good or we feel a bit rubbish. Um, it happens to the best of us. But I'm going to try and keep the consistency up because we need it right now. Thank you so much. Um, I hope she is. We're going slowly, I know, but skin's like a process. And 
I'm just, you know, taking my merry old time like I usually do. <laughs> I feel like every time I, f- I think I'm going to speed it up, so I can't, I can't. I really wish I could, but I can't. Oh my gosh, I need a cup of tea. Okay. And when we are back to normal, and uh, I can get these giveaways, you know, I'm going to, if I can, I'm going to build up a couple more, and then we'll have like four. (laughs) My pencil dancing. You're going to have my my book dancing on Saturday. I love that. (laughs) I'm a snail colorist, snail colorist club. (laughs) It's a thing. It's a thing. It's an official thing. Okay, well, either the snails or the hares. I'm in the snail club. And then you have the hares, which is so fast. Who's a fast cut? Shannon, you're you're a hair. Shannon's fast. Pickle's quite fast. She's definitely a hair. Um who else is? Honor's a snail. This is honor honorary snail. Do you get it, Honor? Ah. I like that one. Honor is an honor. Honor. I cannot. That's the word I can't say. Honorary snail. <laughs> yes, Kelly. See, there's more snails than hairs. What's going on? I think it's an elite club to be in. <laughs> I'm thinking that. <laughs> I think it is a very elite club I want to know how you get in I can't speed up okay I'm jealous right now but I find it quite relaxing going slow I'm I just do are you fast Joanne (laughs) there's not much to be honest Melody I think Enchanted Castles comes out tomorrow in the UK. You know, the Fabiana Atanasio mythographic one. That was a mouthful. That one's out tomorrow. Um, I did, I don't know if you watched it, honey. I think you, that, I'm not sure. Did you watch the pre-orders and PDFs uh, stream? I did all the pre-orders that were up. Hannah Carlson's comes out on the 16th in Sweden. Um, Hannah Carlson's got a new one out. It's coming out on the 16th of April. You're a slug. I love it. (laughs) They barely move. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. I love that. I love that. I'm a slug. (laughs) They don't move. (laughs) You can go out an hour later and they'll still be there. (laughs) Okay, we need prismas. And then we'll come back. (laughs) We're doing the face. Oh, gosh, that's funny. I love that one. (laughs) Oh, that's tickled me. (laughs) I'm a slug. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) Oh, my gosh, I can't find it. They don't move. (laughs) They really don't move. I've noticed that. You go out (laughs) and they were in your pathway. (laughs) They're still there. It's like, how did you, where did you, did you not move? <laughs> okay, I need nectar and peach. Oh, i use that one. That one is shorter. There we go. Okay, so I'm switching on over to nectar for a second. And now I'm just going to, I'm going to add a little bit into what we've already done. So I'm just going sort of around and around. Now layering is everything and it really does make a big difference. If you're someone that doesn't like layering, that's okay. There's no wrong in that. Um, But if you are someone that likes layering, layers are, they do make a difference. It's not like you're doing it in vain. They do make a difference. They layer up, they 
also change like the tone of the skin they work together with the color that you've previously laid down they blend into another color that you're going to lay in you know they they do come to life oh coffee any drink would be amazing right now i think i've got a cold drink on the side i might just grab that i'm pretty sure i have already made up which is i always have a glass of juice on the side it's just there handy for when i need to take all my pills so i just leave one out at all times and then i just refresh it and replenish it when i need to I leave it next to the microwave that's been like a routine i've been doing for years I make a Ribena up and leave it out. Oh, really? See, because we're not, we don't have them here. Only like if you've got a license, um, if you're a farmer or um, you're a police officer. Like people don't have that. No slug is, uh, you know, like the slugs, insect slug. I always say that, that always, always just makes me laugh, like how different countries are and how different meanings. Um, there's so many things that I don't understand and vice versa and we have to go, um, what does that mean? And yet we're all, you know, English spoken, it's just we've all got different slangs. Okay, let's put this into the ear. So her ear's going to be quite light because it's out, you know, it's not going to have a lot of shadow on it, is it? So we'll put some shadow on it, obviously, which will be in the darker tones. And I'm going to bring in like espresso and some palm violet. But yeah, her skin, I don't know if you can see, is starting to shade up and you will have it. Take care, Joanne. Yummy. Enjoy. Okay. Now we're going to go to some peach if I can find that I've got to find it hold on do I even need to know what that means Monica <laughs> I'm, I'm scared to ask I'm scared to ask what that means. Okay, so we're just, this is uh, Prisma Colors now. That's what I just, Kenny, you took the words out of my mouth. Do I need to ask? I, I'm, I'm like kind of scared to ask that one. Okay, so I'm just going in like circular motions and just putting that into there before we add lighter tones in. All right, I'm looking this up. Is it English? Is that is it in the UK? Hold on, I need to know this, but I don't, I'm scared to ask. One second. Do people actually do that? Is it what I'm thinking of where the dogs actually go around licking windows? Uh, is that what it is? Is it a thing? No, I've never heard of that term. Who does that? I mean, dogs do it. They lick their own reflection. I don't know. Chip does it and I call him vain. Is that what it is? That's a bit 
peculiar. Why would you do that? Okay, maybe I'm like, I don't find, right, also, these like challenges which go around on Instagram with teenagers, I'm back to the Loomies. I don't get them. I don't find them funny. These challenges of licking shelves and licking things in this time, you know, because they're just, well, one of them ended up hospitalized with the virus. But why would you do that? Like, what are these challenges and why are they becoming a thing? I mean, I'm not even, I, it just doesn't. Yeah, I, I'll do it after the stream. But um, I don't understand these challenges. Uh, if it's one of those things, someone who's a little bit silly. Um, but I don't know if you saw the guy. I think he was from Louisiana and he went licking the shelves in Walmart and he was like laughing about it it was a thing on on social media it is and then i they're all challenging themselves on licking on shelves and i'm thinking but why Wh why do you want to do why do you want to play with your life like that and and others i don't get it there's no common sense there's none it is there's just no it's like common sense did not it left their body I couldn't quite believe it. I was looking at this and I was just thinking, what type of moron does that? And I don't call people names ever, but that is very, come on. Only someone who with no common sense would go licking the shelves, hoping that they've either spread it or catch it. It's not heroic. <laughs> and it was a challenge going around on Instagram. Sorry, I just got to sharpen for a second. It really is. I couldn't understand that one. And if that's what we're talking about in terms of people going around licking and that in that sense is a window, I don't understand that. It it, it baffles that it baffles the life out of me. It really does. I there's no words. See, they're just playing with their lives. <laughs> you know you just want to like get them and say stop just stop what are you doing why are you doing that you need to just stop it it makes no sense to me it it really doesn't these challenges are not funny they're not fun they're not at all entertaining and no one with their right mind would think anything else other than that what I've just said they are not entertaining and you are putting other people as well as your own at risk in something that is very contagious and you find it funny to go and lick shelves it's insane hiya Becky Yeah, see, I don't like that word <laughs> straight away. It seems a bit bizarre to me. But as it says on the tin, window licking, it's just reminded me of all those posts that I've seen of people licking supermarket shelves. Um, so that's what it's reminded me of. And that's why I've gone off talking about it because it's happening in the world right now. Don't get it. Anyway, we'll move on. Um, I'm just putting light peach from the Prismas for now. And it's funny because at times you sit there and you think, I know I'm not the only one who thinks these things, but the minority that does like that kind of thing and does, I'd love to have a conversation with them to find out exactly where their mindset is because I, I, I would need explaining to, like genuinely need explaining to on that one. Um, you know, are they charging them now, Debbie? That's a good thing. At least it's not going like unseen, and it might stop them because they haven't got the money. 
because they, they're young, let's face it, they're young. Okay, so all I'm doing with this is just getting a little bit of shadow in her ear. And I've chosen burnt ochre for now. And then I'm going to bring in burnt sienna 50%. No, I've never heard of it. But I don't like it. I don't like it straight away. <laughs> it's not one of the sayings that I'll, I'll um, you'll ever hear me saying. Okay, so I'm, again, I'm just putting a little bit of this in. Hey, you patty. <laughs> Yep, and it's the best way, Christine, at the moment to protect you all, honey. Mm-hmm. Oh, Andrew, you're up. Can I have a tea top up, please? Here. Thank you. I was going to get up and do it, but my muscles are hurting. They're really hurting, Andrew. He doesn't care. He's like, well, you need to get fit. He's like, oh, we all live. I'm like, yes, I know this. I know this information. But at this moment in time, my legs aren't living. They're dying. They all said, hi, Andrew. He said, hi. I don't know if you can hear him. He's in the kitchen. Did you tell them the bad story about my jump rope snapping? Yeah, I said your, your skipping rope snapped. They won't know what it is. Of course not. In America, it's called jump rope. Jump rope, skipping rope, same thing. Yeah, I did tell him. Well, going so hard, it broke. Yeah, he broke the skipping rope. No, it was a really rubbish one. It was a really cheap one, so it didn't have... It was like plastic all the way through instead of that... What is it inside? It's like an al It looks like aluminium. Aluminium. No, an aluminium. Aluminium. Um, yeah, so he, he broke it. So I've got to get him a new one. Louise yeah he is the tea fairy he doesn't know me is him <laughs> he helps me out okay what do I need I need Palmer where is my Palmer I've seen it somewhere I really want to get back to mine you've you've made me want to get back to mine uh, Louise and Louise Louise and Louise they're both dabbing away at diamond paintings and um, looking amazing, by the way. And Louise shares her progress on her Facebook, Louise Cooper. And I always think, I love them. <laughs> I need to get back to them. Okay. Oh, there it is. I found it. I found it. Look. Watch, watch, we need black. There it is. Oops, there it is. Okay. So I need Palmer. Um, I'm just not sure where I put that Palmer, but we'll find it. She's getting there. Um I'm taking my time, I know, but we've got we've got time, haven't we? And I feel like I'm stuck on this chair now. I don't feel like I can get up. Okay. Let's bring you down. Down there. Okay, so I'm gonna go for some Parma. We will build up a little bit more, but Yeah. Yeah, but all of you just keep saying, keeps. 
safe and keep happy. She'll get there. Well, I've got to do her eyebrows. We'll do those before I, I finish today. Try and get her face done. Or all her skin. Hi, Michelle. So what do you ladies and gents, if, if there's gents listening, do with your diamond paints? Do you just store them? Do you gift them? Do you frame them? Is it just something you like to do like with me with my colouring pages and I don't put them anywhere? It's just something that I enjoyed in the moment. Um, what do you, do you choose them to specifically what you would gift someone or do you choose them because you like the pictures? Hi Sue. I know, I'm, I'm surprised that I'm still able to stream, to be honest. My internet's been so sketchy, like really sketchy. I mean, we don't have the best of internet in this area anyway, Andrew will tell you. It's always in and out. So I'm very surprised that at the minute I'm actually able to. Oh, nice, nice. I'm happy that you've started one. I love, love, love when you, seriously, people say to me, do you not get like, bored of seeing my work in progress pictures and I, every time I answer will always be nope nope I absolutely love seeing progress even if you've sent me a hundred <laughs> of your progress pictures bit by bit I love them all <laughs> I know right I've only got two um Louise and but they're tubes aren't they when they first come are they tubes with diamond art club thank you where are you going in the bedroom huh shower okay I think it's just nice to have them just to enjoy it I don't necessarily think that we need to gift them as such but it'd be nice to see if I did that, I would be doing the pictures, um, like, the pictures I would choose wouldn't be based on my likings, it would be based on others, I think. Um, it would be, I don't know, I feel, feel like I need to enjoy it, so I pick them on my own, if that, if that makes sense. Um, so not necessarily gifting, but I do want to get, I'm so itchy to get back to it. <laughs> it's always a task trying to find a colour. Does anyone else find that? When you have them in a pencil case like this. Shannon, look away. Look away. Um, when you have them in a pencil case like this, you're trying to find a colour. It's so hard. Thank you. If I come up, you will see it on a little bit of a better view I'm doing it not based off this one but I'm doing it similar to this one um so it's uh, it's really hard to get like a can you see with all the shadows and stuff it's the same with this one it it will get smoother as we layer up so we're nearly done and then we'll I've got to layer in some just a little bit more of the light and then it will be a bit more like that one um, but I'm trying to find a pencil that I can't find because it's ran away. Is that it? No. Is that it? No. Is that it? No. Oh dear lord, where are you? Right. It's weird doing the same thing twice. <laughs> I'm like just continue. Oh no, do not, do not, do not elbow the cup of tea. That'll go all over the place. Okay, we'll, we'll try this one. Is that it? No. Oh my goodness. I'll find it someday in the future. I need black. I've got 
no idea where my espressos have all walked away to. It seems like, aha, found it, I found it. It is, I love it. I found it, I found it. I'm so happy right now. Okay. <laughs> that took forever. I told you it'd be in the future. <laughs> Okay, this is a downside to having them in a pencil case like that. But I have, in my defense, got them in there because it used to be really handy. At this moment in time, I'm thinking maybe not. Okay, so I'm just going around the edges here. And I'm not going hard, I'm going very light. And what I wanted this more for, so these leaves, I don't know if you, because we're going to go down the next soon. These leaves, if you see, have got a shadow, haven't they, that she's already put in there. So before we go and like buff this in, I'm just going to get the espresso and I'm just going to make sure that I have really highlighted my shadows, but without black. I don't want to do it with black. So I'm just going to, um, it's around this part as well, there's like a little stud. Anyone else got, just curious, has anyone else got their ear pierced at the tops? And if you've got piercings, how many piercings have you got? I'm curious, Cookie, I want to know. Okay, let's just... Let me do it that side. It's on the opposite side to all of these uh, like leaves. I can't wait to do all of this. I'm actually really looking forward to doing this with you. And it's weird because I've not felt that desire to colour for a while. <laughs> so it's a good thing. It's what I mean. Coming on stream, it actually does me a favour. It, you know, it really does. It's, it's like, okay, it is actually a dedicated time to colour. You have no piercings. None, Shannon. I Okay, I should be back now with my sound. My sound had temporarily gone, but we should be back. It happens. I'm so happy that I actually have been able to stream today, as I said to you earlier. So I'll stick with it, keep going in and out. But thank you for letting me know. That's what I, I rely on that. Okay, you know what I'm going to also need? My buff titanium. Because it's just the best. I mean, the best ever, but I don't know where it is. Okay, I don't know where my colour card is for buff. Let me see, did I put it back? Or did I lose lose the buff? I think it should be in here, but if it's not, I'll have to just call it out. Um, I did have it, but I think I had it out one day and I didn't know if I put it back. Um... Oh, I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to call this one out. So, you won't be able to see it, I doubt. But it's 801. So, it's buff titan. Oh, it is focusing. It is focusing. Okay. Right. So, we're going to use buff titanium for a minute. And all I'm going to do is, you know, in my lightest area, 
in the very middle of the forehead, like the T-zone. The T-zone of your forehead is just blend that in slightly. So like it would be your lightest area. So this has got like a milky complexion, but where I've already put down um, pigment, there should be like a really nice light area of skin. So I don't know if you can see that. So yeah, it should be nice and clear. And now we're just gonna we're just gonna make sure that's blended all smoothly. Um, especially as well in this like top bit of the brow. So you have like a white whitish bit there, is that right? Hi Shara. Anyone else that's coming in? Yeah, we need the sexy back. I'm bringing sexy back. You need that. <laughs> Justin Timberlake says it. Okay. Oopsie. And then, just last but not least, just for that top bit, and then we're going to go to her neck and hand. Right, and the little bit there. Um... <laughs> oh that's made me laugh <laughs> we're demanding the sexy <laughs> we demand it <laughs> oh we're just gonna go to burnt ochre 10 percent, which is the luminance i like to mix my lumis and my prismas together And yet here we all are in our pajamas, probably with the messiest hair that we've had in a long time. No makeup, but it's sexy. <laughs> I'm duetting, Shannon. I'm duetting with you. Our our sing. What do you call it? songstress? Our songstress of the uh, streams. I'm duetting. Okay. <laughs> okay there we go so now i'm gonna before i move i think hmm um can you see that okay yeah all right so as i'm gonna come down to here now i'm gonna bring out the light and i'm gonna like build around it with dark I did say hello earlier, I hope so. Oh, you're meaning, sorry, you're meaning with what you look like right now. I'm the same, don't worry. If I turn the camera on myself, you would really be like, ah, put it away. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, we're good, we're good. Action. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I think we're all, we're all in that just... Messy hair, don't care. I think the right the survival package of isolation is pajamas, number one. Hot drinks, number two. Sanity is definitely a very, very sharp number three. Books, whether that's colouring books, reading books is number four. Alone time is number five. Messy hair. Days where you don't have to shower is number six. <laughs> Are we getting right? We're we're on the right right sort of track here, aren't we? Having to be reminded that we need to shower is probably number seven. <laughs> it's a good one. And uh, well, we we can't even scare. We can't even scare the delivery men right now because they're knocking on the door, leaving the parcels on the doorstep. So we really do not have to face anyone. <laughs> I think it's a good survival package. <laughs> okay, what we got at number eight? Come on, you finish it. We need eight, nine, and ten. <laughs> Snacking. <laughs> oh my gosh. Snacking with boredom. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, sink baths are okay. People do that when they backpack. Backpackers, um, they use baby wipes to wash. So two of my friends did an around the world trip about seven years ago now. They started off in um, India. They then went to China. They then went to um, Australia, did loads in Australia. They went loads of places and it was really, really fun for them. And they learned that you, you really do need to have a thick skin when it comes to cleanliness because when you backpack, baby wipes are your best friend. Yeah, there you go. Baby wipes dry up. Dry shampoo is another one. So where's that in my mouth? And we're kind of living like that, some of us now. It's like, meh, can't be bothered. Let's just grab the wipes. Meh. So um, I was sounding like a sheep then. I didn't mean to. But meh. And uh, yeah, I must admit I have had <laughs> I have had daily baths. Take care, Louise. <laughs> it's good to see you as always. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't mind. I love my baths. They actually relax my back. So, yeah, I don't need to be reminded of that. But if there is a day where I do, then it is now. Like, you know, we can, we can, I can get away with it. If there's ever a time, it would be now. <laughs> Shower Robo 6. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm telling you, it is so funny. Phones and computers and online is a massive essential. Yeah, but Marines, they're so trained, aren't they, to be pristine. And I mean pristine, because if you don't, you have to start all over again. I mean, I've watched these military schools and my gosh, they teach you. Um, but... I mean, we have got the facility, but everyone's all so scared to use their water. You know, your water bills, you know, and you haven't got your income. It's like, well, I need to, like, slow down with the bath usage here. But, no, the thing is, if I have to go, because Andrew can't go anywhere, as I've said. If you, you know, if you were with me on the last few streams, you'll know. He's um, on immune suppression medication, which means he is a very high risk. And it is really dangerous to people with underlying illnesses. So please stay home. Please, please stay home. It worries the life out of me. Um, so that being said, I have to be the one to run around, which is pushing my back to a silly proportion. But thankfully, the doctor is pretty good in the sense of I have got some extra tramadol. Uh, they've been needed so much. So... When I get in, I strip off at the door, put my, you know, something clean on and go and have a bath. So if I have to go to the pharmacy, pick up medication or food or mum and dad's food shop, whatever it might be, um, I, as soon as I get in, I antibacterial the handles, door handles, um, my phone, my keys, strip off, that goes in a bag in the wash and go in the bath. That is my routine. Um... But you are, you're like, hmm, got to be a bit, uh, got to be a bit careful on this usage here, right? I don't know, is it the same in the US? Do you have to pay for your water bill? And if you do, do you get them, how often do you get billed? We get them every six months, so ours is due actually. Um, so, you're a bit like, oh my gosh, how much are these things going to come in? But I don't know, I, I can't moan, our UK government have been pretty good in putting things in place, and although we won't be able to access anything till like June, or it doesn't matter. As I said, one thing this has taught me is this, you don't actually need that much. Um, safety, health, that kind of thing is absolutely important right now. And it's taught me that. It's It's made me step back and think, I care more about people's health and well-being than anything. So, yeah, I'm definitely someone who's very vocal about please, please, please. If you really don't have a reason to go out, don't. Okay, so now I've got a base down. I can start to build up on that a little bit more. Let me just... um. 
put that in there and then we'll start to shadow. Okay, now I need to build up. Yes, Debbie, it is essential. What did you treat yourself to? Anything fancy? What did you, um, what, what artist did you go for? Oh, there's a new Alina Lazareva book, if you weren't aware. Oh, one minute, let me show you. Ah, this is mum. Mum's just done one of those keep calms and drink teas. That's life right now. Keep calm and drink tea. Um, right, let me show you. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. So this came out yesterday, I believe. So this is her new one. It's called Elegant. Elegant Beauties, and this is by Alina Lazareva. So we can't get a clear, clear picture, but you can get a little look into what's in it. So it's all portraits and different ethnicities and hair. That looks like very much like Mariola one. Um, again, this is brand new. If you wanted to see a brand new book, or stick it in your wish list for a later, entirely up to you. So beautiful, it's all portraits and it's grayscale, that one's stunning. So yeah, that one is, as I said, it's called Elegant Beauties. It's brand new and it's grayscale and it is on Amazon. You can also buy it in PDF on her Etsy store. So you can do either or, dependent on you. I don't think there was anything else new that I saw. Um, Oh, oh, yes, there is. You can now pre-order. This is the new one by Camilla D. Erico. It's called Cute and Creepy Pop Manga. It is on pre-order. Go stick it in your wish list on Amazon. Patty, that one was Alina Lazareva. Look what is coming. I am so happy. Oh my gosh, the lighting's gone all funny. It's because it goes from one extreme to another. Bear with me. I'm going to have to just mess with the lighting for a second. If it starts to flash out, tell me. But it messed the lighting up. Thank you, uh, thank you, Kenny. Thank you, Han. Okay, are your screens okay? Is your lighting okay? Because it went off. Oh, there we go. It's come back now, hasn't it? All right, is your lighting okay? When you go on the phones, it messes with your lighting. Hold on, it's it's literally messed everything up. Two seconds. I think that's okay. Okay, okay. I think that's okay. Night night melody, sweet dreams. I think that's better. So sorry about that. Okay. Oh, you do. And you do. Okay. That's okay. I'll be here on Saturday again. <laughs> I'm nearly done. We're going to build up a little bit more and then I'll be done. But I'll be here Saturday. I'll be here Saturday. Okay. Um, we're going for Burnt Sienna. 50% on these parts. But yes, you can go and stick that pre-orders in your basket. It is out. This is the Camilla D. Erico one, by the way. 8th of September. So the 8th 
of September is when the release date is, but it is available for pre-order now. You do not get charged until it's dispatched. So if you don't want to forget and you want it pre-ordered, you can. It's not going to take money from you. But the Alina Lazareva one is out now. Now it's been released and it's out. The PDF is on sale on her Etsy store, I believe, Shannon, I think you said. And you can buy the physical copy on Amazon. Okay, so I'm going to start to circle in a little bit at a time. There you go, you're a little bit closer now. I took you away, didn't I? Sorry about that sidetrack. I just remembered to tell you guys, I spotted it yesterday. Um, and I was like, oh, what? What? I cannot believe there's a new one. I thought she wasn't doing another one, so I'm so happy. Thank you. I'm so, so happy. I love her. Did you guys see, oh, so in my books, in my colouring books, do you want me to include like reference books and stuff and art books or do you want me to just do the colouring books? I'm just asking before I get Andrew to like lug them into the room. Um, Heather, I can tell you. I think it's the, her name. But I'm not sure. Hold on. So Alina, Alina, what? Lazareva. Search. It's fantasy. Fantasy Alina Lazareva, and it's in her store, and it's in the UK. It's nine seventy one. Um, instead of 15.11 but I would the physical copy for us is seven pounds so it is um, fantasy Alina Lazareva as I said you can stick stuff in your baskets as well oh my gosh there's so much if you wanted me to show you all these things you'd, you'd, you'd hate me by the end um, so Dawn Davidson has a new one in her store by her husband it is called the Bayou Queen or the Bayou Witch I don't know if you can see that she reminds me of the one out of um, Pirates of the Caribbean. And there's also, just one more, um, Luna. Oh, Ennis Guerrero's got a new one. This one. And this one is called The Other Me. And it's £3.90 instead of five twenty nine. So that's another one that's just been released by Ennis Guerrero. And then there is another one. <laughs> Sorry, last one, I promise. There is a few more, but I'll show <gasps> Okay, no, there's two more. Okay, so Mario Boudec has just released this such cute little baby with the Easter Bunny um, costume, the carrot and the doll. That is adorable. That's Mario Boudec. And then she's got a few actually she's released. There's so many, so many, so, so many. Okay, and then obviously we got our Luna Lovegood, which is by Fabiana and it's the Harry Potter Luna Lovegood there. And that is by Fab illustrations and that is two pounds 26 but there's there's just a ton of things that you can get right now and they're they're reasonable small round has also done um some kitty coloring pages which are cute so that's by small and round that's one pound 52 by jeremiah ketner and um so they're cute they're another couple Take care, Vicky. Thanks for joining. Enjoy your dinner. And then, oh my gosh, there's so many things. Molly Harrison has a new grayscale set, a printable set of three. 
there's that one um, there's that one and there is that one so that is um, Molly Harrison and then <laughs> I think that's it well there's loads but I think that's it that's in my like new notifications because don't forget I come in here quite often so to have a look oh Mariola has got this one which is stunning and I don't know if you can see that you get it in dark light and sepia so that is by um, Mariola Boudet And then she has got another one, which is a bunny, which is so cute. Look at it. It's like a spring bunny. Just, 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 just look. And that is £2.26. Yes, she is. A hair series has gone down half price. So lots to feast on. If you are looking for anything new and you fancy spending on the Etsy stores, they are having massive sales right now. And as I said, there are freebies, as I showed in the beginning, if you weren't here. Um, so let me just quickly show you. Rita Berman has given away a set of free. Yeah. So there's this one. Uh, this is, if you go to her Instagram, this one and the home sweet home and then Roz who we're coloring now has also just done this crazy woman <laughs> how we're all feeling and she has got her basket of grocery items with all those loo rolls what made me laugh is the sock with the toes peeping out I couldn't stop laughing um yeah I thought that was funny like she's gone crazy with uh with stockpiling <laughs> So there's some freebies that were around today. So Rita Berman and Roz Mama, as I say. She's amazing, isn't she? And also there's another store to definitely look up. Mandy Manzano, she does the diamond paintings. So she's another one, really beautiful images. This is not the full book, by the way. She's just a couple printed off, but there is the full book on my computer. I'm terrible. Um, so yeah, stunning, love them. Oh, and that's just the one that I did not long ago. Of, I'm still debating on a background on her. Um, I don't know if you can see. The, the colour's all off, I think, on the screen. But yeah, so that was a Mariola video deck as well. There's so many choices, so many choices right now. So lots of sales, lots of things to enjoy and lots of freebies. Hi, Carol. So we are on the next. So sorry, I know I'm taking forever. We will be done soon, but I'm like sidetracking a lot. But it's it's on stuff that we all enjoy. So it's all fun. <laughs> it is. It's all fun. This um should be done in a couple of sittings, really. As I said, Saturday will be in two parts. So if you miss the first part, you can always watch it back. I'm not going to delete it. It will be... um part one part two so that I can take a break in between otherwise it's going to be like four to five hours and I can't sit that long at the moment it's just too much I know it's so funny it's how we're feeling isn't it um so it did make me chuckle I was like yep you're going a little bit do lally at home um stuck in stockpiling people did oh my gosh so we got the figures in today on the news of how much britain spent stockpiling the the, the supermarkets it's like christmas every day 1.9 billion pounds was spent on british stockpiling can you imagine now for me that makes a massive pay rise for all those workers do you not agree for all the supermarket workers that were classed as unskilled, which used to bug me anyway because no one's unskilled. Every job is a skill. But they were always seen as unskilled and I thought that was terrible. So I think that all the supermarkets are making an absolute killing right now. They deserve, their workers deserve a mobile coffee cart <laughs> so that they can have their coffee to fuel them. 
they deserve a pay rise after all of this and they also deserve a little bit more respect. So yeah, 1.9 billion in the UK was spent stockpiling. They are doing, they were risking their lives you know, they are just, they're no different, they're absolutely ne necessary right now and they are doing a fantastic job and they're doing it with a smile on their face. When I went in there, they were all singing and smiling and being cheerful and greeting you at the doors and I thought, gosh, you know, that is such a jolly spirit. Yeah, half of that on toilet roll, you're right. You're right. That's why that picture was funny. <laughs> that really was. Okay, so we need to just deepen that. Then I'm just going to pop back on over to Burnt Ochre 50%. Absolutely. They are heroes right now. 876. I completely agree, Christine. They are doing such an asset. Food. Food is one of the most important things in everyone's life to survive. If you didn't have the shelf stackers and the supermarket cashiers, supermarket cashiers, the, the Tesco's and, well, we've got to Walmart over there, and your, your supermarkets would go bust, you know? They wouldn't know what to do. They need them. Dustbin men. I've not heard anyone give them credit yet. Dustbin men. They're doing a great job. They're going out still. Picking up everyone's rubbish. Delivery men. So many. So many people. And of course, <clears throat> our doctors, nurses and carers. Coming from a care background, uh, I worked in care for many, 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 many years. Um, I know firsthand what you have to deal with and it's scary and you cannot care for someone from social distancing it doesn't work like that you've got to help them the reason they're in a care home is because they rely on you you cannot social distance yet care homes we're not getting protective equipments they need it just as much you get coughed on you get splattered on you get no hands washed on you it's like that 24 7 they need the stuff so the carers as well you know how many times this oh it's such an unskilled job you do it is what I say anyone that used to say to me I used to say you come and do it then no I couldn't do your job well don't criticize it then <laughs> simple you know everyone has a role to play and without people doing that role there's a reason why they do it there's no criticism needed so everyone that's working at the moment and has to work bless your hearts Yes, I saw that. That is such an amazing idea to put plexiglass at the tills. Now, not every supermarket's have done that yet. So, um, Lidl and Audi, I believe, are rolling it out first. I think Sainsbury's and Tesco are going to follow in the footsteps. But I believe that this social distancing and having a certain amount in the store and um, limited buy-in is going to roll on for quite some time yet. I think they said up to the end of the year they would like to keep the measures in place on keeping a bit of a distance because you've got to know that, that, you know, that people are clear of it. Oh, you're welcome, Lucy. I bet, you ha I bet your um, people in the house are thinking, oh my God, she's gone on that person's YouTube channel again. <laughs> she's gone on that person's YouTube channel again. She needs to be banned. <laughs> Yeah, but also you can't get online delivery. A lot of people, it's like 90,000 in the queue ahead of you. So like mum and dad, you know, they're waiting till May. I had to do it. Morrison's have had it great. Oh yeah, Carol, I know. They look knackered, don't they? They look absolutely knackered. Uh, bless them. But yeah, I appreciate every single one of you. All of you that have to work. Truly, you're like heroes right now. The 
unsung heroes. Okay, burnt ochre. Let's get this all shaded in. So I'm just blending out the dark areas into the light areas at first. Yeah, Andrew's brother, he's a supermarket um, worker. He's working all hours. He's putting himself at risk every day. I think they moved him on to days, didn't they, Andrew? Your brother, didn't they move him onto the days? Yeah, they need him in the day. He used to be a night worker, doing on the shelves at night. And they need him more in the days now. And it's asking them to do really, really crazy hours and, and loads more than what they usually would do. There's no pay rise in it. And, you know, some of them don't even want a pay rise. They just want some recognition or a bit more of a break. Or like the NHS workers, they said, we don't want the pay rise. We just want free parking. Um... You know, we want free parking. We want a coffee. I don't think that's a lot to ask for. I think it's just... I was listening to um, a cert, uh, It was a consultant. And it's really worth a listen. So this consultant phoned into a radio show here. And I'll have to find the link. And it's really eye-opening. He was saying, you know, we're, they're stuck in this bubble... And they'll never be the same again after this experience. It will change all of their lives forever. Totally understand that. He said, you know, when they're in those hospitals, it is a different world at the moment. Um, and no one would truly understand that until you're in it. And when they have the rush and surge of patients in every day at the moment. And, you know, he's worked 48 hours. He's had to give his family up um, for 12 weeks. And he was saying, when this is all over... It was just such a poignant message. It was so, like, you know, strong. When this is all over, we don't want a pay rise. I just want my staff, because he's a consultant, he's all a professor, one or the other, he was a top guy. I just want my staff to have free parking and to have a Christmas meal that we don't have to pay for, the NHS pays for, and a coffee break. And I was like, do you know what? People are so amazing. They don't even want... They're not greedy. It's clear they're not greedy. They're, they're risking their lives every day. <laughs> Especially now with a very contagious, you know, thing going around. And um, I think that a lot can be learnt from this. And I think it should be implemented. I think people who are classed as unskilled... I hate that word, but, you know, they are classed as that to the government will now be seen as heroes and they m I, I think they need some recognition i hope that the world changes for the better after in that sense and i think also as i said people will realize that you don't need as much as what you maybe thought you did and i think you'd be a lot kinder to people after because you realize how much people mean so if we come away from this in that sense we'll come away with a very positive outlook I think it will change people and um, as I said things any situation not just this any situation can bring out either the best in someone or the worst in someone but I think I think the majority will be on board with the best and I hope to God that's the case okay so I'm just placing this in I'm gonna do her nails black just because I like black nail varnish. <laughs> and I'm just going to do that in a felt tip. Yeah, it's really hard to get them though, Monica. We were looking. Mum was on there. Uh, Lou was on there for 10 hours. I mean, there's only a certain amount of patience you've got for sitting on a, a supermarket store for 10 hours online just waiting. It's, it's uh, it, yeah, it's not good for the brain. <laughs> that's it they are and it's at times like this you realize and all those volunteers so they had a plea out um i'm nearly done i promise you i've got to do this bit and that's it um we had this plea for 250,000 volunteers and within 48 hours over 500,000 have come forward and signed up to be a volunteer i mean it, it speaks volumes if I didn't have my back the way it is, I would be a volunteer 100%, but I can do what I can for my family. And I'm doing more than what, you know, I've done for a long time because I'm having to. Um, 
but saying that you know you have a day when you just can't move but it's worth it you know it's worth the extra pain because I know that then they're safe it doesn't matter you know I can recover that way you can't recover from the, the opposite so I'm just like it's fine and that's the thing if you can support your family you know there's a time when they need it especially your loved ones and if you're vulnerable I hope that you've got someone to lean on hey Kathy wow Louise that is amazing they got 700 I knew it would go up because it was a 500,000 and I knew that 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 number would go up okay I'm gonna go over to my nectar <laughs> it's nectar or nectar but I call it nectar um in my prismas and I'm going to start to put a little bit on this part of her. I don't know if you can see. Um, so there's this section there. But I want that quite dark. It's got that espresso in it. So I'm just going to put enough in. But yeah, it's amazing. Like I hope in the US as well, or wherever you are, because you're not just from the US, but I know a large majority of you are from the US, that you had a lot of voluntary uh, helpers that are helping out at this time as well. And there's a lot of fundraising going on. And as fun, I did, um, there's an amazing company called Paper Story. They've stopped donations now that I saw a couple of days ago. I've been following them for a long time. And they do acetate sheets uh, a lot in their business. And they've made, they got some donations and I donated just, you know, you only need to do a few pounds. One pound made two visors. So they got a lot of money. So now they're making hundreds of visors for the NHS staff, the nurses on the front line. And all from people just giving, you know, just giving a couple of pounds and collectively those couple of pounds added up so that it can make hundreds of visors and it's the same with the NHS that you can you there's so many fundraising things that people are doing so it's in order to be able to get enough personal protective equipment to those on the front line for the peak time of this all and there's so many things and it makes you realize how how much spirit people have of helping so yeah, it's all people are amazing. They are okay. Now I think I'm just gonna grab. Um, do I want that color? Maybe. Do I want that one? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go for um eight seven six. And I'm just going to place that in with the nectar because it just brightens it up a bit. And then we'll put some of the 872 in. I think that's the number. It's because this is quite heavily shadowed down here. So it's um, it's going to be that, that tad darker than the rest. Not massively, but it will because it is very dark. Oh, Grazia Salvo has a freebie in her group on Facebook as well. A really nice one. It's one of the sayings that they have in Italy where they are struggling. So she's put a really beautiful free page out there. Grazia is such a beautiful person. I think everyone is really coming together at the moment. It seems that way community as well is which is just wonderful okay so I'm gonna need that in a minute and we're gonna go for this color but I need to sharpen and then I need to quickly do her eyebrows but I've got those cards already out from the other day so that's handy okay so I'm just gonna literally place that right in on those places that I'd already had all right so what we're gonna do now we need espresso which is gonna make our shadows stand right out and then our eyebrows which is nice and easy 
Okay, so if I come up, what I'm going to do is espresso is just a nice shadowed colour without going too dark because, you know, black can be quite sharp. So I'm just going to place in where, I th well, you see it. I mean, this is quite grayscaled. So you'll see where it's the darkest. I know she's like a song. So I say she's, she's a karaoke machine. They're there. <laughs> They're like in her brain. They're ready. They're at the ready. You got jukebox. <gasps> we should name you that. Oh, there is such thing. Oh, I, I'm missing him on the talks at 5 p.m. I never thought I'd ever say that. I actually miss him. I'm like, bring him back. Just get well so we can have you back. <laughs> I miss seeing his floppy hair. Okay, so we're just going around a little bit. Yes! Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That she put it back up, bless her. She did message and said thank you. We just had a little conversation after I finished streaming and she'd put it back up at that point. She hadn't realised that it had uh, been delisted because she'd sold the copies that she'd already, you know, put up as the amount. But um yeah, bless her, she was so sweet. But she's looking forward to seeing this come to life by the community because this is one that she hasn't coloured herself and she won't because um, for personal reasons and it, it was sweet she was like I'm so happy and I said oh bless you it's so relatable though you know I thought it was very relatable there's not enough there's no other time I probably colour this to be fair you know I probably wouldn't pick it up on another occasion because it it wouldn't have spoke to me until now so yeah definitely one that sort of it it, it stood out I think Dinny was I don't know her surname bless her but Dinny Dinny Art um oh my gosh her surname will come to me Honor usually knows these things she's got one with a mask as well now if you go to her Instagram I can't think of the name I just know as Dinny D I N N Y. She's got um, I don't know if it's a freebie or if it's on her Etsy store, but she has done one with a mask as well. Okay. No, don't be sorry. Oh, take care. Never be sorry. In and out is fine. I told anyone that. Thanks for staying this length of time. You've been here a long time, and take care. And have fun making clay. <laughs> Dinny did thank you. Ha, that's the one. I could never fit. I can never say the surname. Not because I just there's certain things I can't pronounce, as you know. Okay, Palmer Violet, and then we we'll do our eyebrows. Eyebrows is super quick. That you'll be pleased to know. Um, so I'm just putting in some Palmer. Not much. Just a, a hint. Yeah, she's got one, just, I think, I think a brand new one. I think she's just done it. I'm pretty sure that I just saw it today. Um, she's done one. But I, by the rest of the evening, I probably, I'm going to take, I said to Andrea, my hand's starting to cramp from holding my phone so much. So I think that I'm going to do some diamond painting, laying down, and a book, I think, or one or the other. And then my, my vacuum comes tomorrow. Oh, they're amazing, Mandy. They're on it better than I am. <laughs> they're so on it. And Lou is, is the same. When Lou comes back, you'll see she's like, Pow! I'm like, how do you get them so quick? Even me, I'm not that quick. <laughs> how do you do it? That needs blending out a bit more. I told you Shannon was a hair. <laughs> Honours the knowledge, the oracle. She knows the stuff. I, she just knows it. So I can't think of the name. Honour, oh no, oh no, oh no, you know it. You know it. 
What's the name? <laughs> and I say it all the time. Mods are here just like everyone else. You know, bless them. They don't have to do anything. They're just here if a troll comes in to bash a troll. And bless them, they're so quick with things. I never give mods any jobs. I'm just like, do you know what? You're here. You're you're just a viewer just like everyone else. You don't have a job. Just please bash a troll. <laughs> and then they're there with the links and the knowledge. And I'm like, ah! You're so cool! <laughs> Christine, it's not like a given. You do you. <laughs> you don't have to do anything. N and not everyone's feeling it. Hey, Chica. Not everyone's feeling it. You don't have to do it. Do something when you feel it. If you don't do your diamonds, you diamond dab in. You're streaming, aren't you? You stream on Sundays. That's your little service. <laughs> so keep in some entertainment. Okay. That is fine. I just think I don't need to fiddle anymore. There we go. Okay. Let's lift up. Oh, I'm not as quick though, <laughs> but I just, I'm there to support, I'm there to support. Yeah, I think most of us have. Okay, let me just check, let me just check. Okay, Sam, that is, yeah, okay. Let me just check again. Yeah, it's, it's there. All right, so next up, I'm just going to quickly do our eyebrows. Now, I have got them still out, not the colours, the cards. Now, what I did with those eyebrows, I just went darker and I did black as well. So, I believe I did dark brown. Um, did I do? Yeah, I did some russet and carrot. Oh, thank you. I'm glad she's all right. <laughs> it's not going to be perfect. doesn't have to be, but it is definitely um, enjoyable, which is what colouring is about. It's about enjoying it. Okay, so I've got, <laughs> funnily enough, three different pencil brands. Carrot is um, Black Widows. Russet is Lumi and Dark Brown is Prisma. I'm prepared on having that and that there. I also need black. And my Lumi, I believe, is here. So there's no fishing around for stuff. It's right in there, right in my face. Um, yeah, there it is. So we need black as well, but black is, as I say, it's optional for one and two. Um, you can grab any black, it doesn't matter the brand. Uh, okay, so first off, I'm just gonna base her very lightly with carrot. So it's just a base all over, like super, super light, just to take off the... Yeah, okay. So just to base, take out the white and the gray and just base it. because we'll come back to this if we need to because it needs to be super sharp as well yeah I said that to Andrew um, anyone that suffers with panic attacks and anxiety right now this is going to be amping you up no end so just try to remain as calm as you would in normal circumstances I know that's very hard it's easier said than done, I know. Um, and if you find what is really triggering it, i.e. watching the news, try and limit that. Yeah, 
Yeah, or anything that calms you. Anything. It can be picking a pencil up. It can be silence for a minute. It can be something loud so it distracts because it's straight away of a loud noise what happens. And if you look around, you're like, oh, what's that? You know? Try and um, remain as positive as you can. I think most of us are panicked. So if you do suffer with panic attacks, trust me, the world's with you right now. And turn to people. Okay, I'm with Russet now. And I'm going to start to place in... Not huge amounts, but I just want to also bring that down a little bit. So just extend it off a tiny little second. Oh, see, Eli, I have been... Is it Eli? I'll make sure I get your name right. Um, I've been terrible. I watch it all the time. And I told myself today not to, and I haven't actually turned... I turned it on for, I think, 10 minutes. Um, and at the wrong time as well, because it just, you know, it was at the worst time when they just did the daily count of of mortality and I thought oh why did I have to switch on then but I made myself not today and I'm not going to um, and I'm on here when the daily briefing has been given so I don't have to watch that so I'm not going to and I need to tell myself that because I'm finding my mood just going down 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 and um, that was my promise to myself just don't because it's triggering it's triggering a really horrible emotion and it's also hard to sort of switch my mind to anything good, you know, or concentrate. But reading's been doing that. Great. I thought it was Eli. I didn't want to say your name wrong because I'd say to you, how do I say it otherwise? <laughs> okay, I'm going to go for dark brown. Now, eyebrows are generally that bit darker. So I'm just going to try and apply more in. And you know these little hairs on the end? I'm just going to make sure that they stand out as well. Same with this. I'm going to just make sure now your black will play a big role. So it'll be like an undertone of red, but more of the browns and the, the black. I'm not here on Thursday. I don't do every Thursday. I was just doing every now and then. It was generally if I wasn't coming on Tuesdays. Remember, I will stick on my YouTube if I'm not around. Um you know, for Tuesday, but I'll be here Saturday. So Tuesday, Saturdays are usually my days. Um, however, as I said, we're all human. If I'm not around, I'll let you know. So check, always check the community tabs for things because I generally update you on there. So, you know, just a quick message to say, hey guys, you know, not around today. So you don't, you don't um, sit there at your screens waiting. But I will be here Saturday. Um, and as I said, I'll be on at one 1 um, p.m. UK time and my stream will be split into two so I'll be doing one till three and then half four till half six I can see that being half seven but we'll see so it'll be a long day on Saturday but it will be divided up so that you get a break in between to go eat <laughs> go have a life go walk <laughs> do something okay so this is a polychromos black um, which is 199 it is a I love my polys it's a favor castell polychromo I find it's the best for eyebrows or anything that you need something sharp and we're going to use it also for her eyelashes so coming to here I'm just going to place in ever so slight just enough to make a difference to her eyebrows Yep, and then you see this here you want to be careful so I'm not going to rush it but I've gone over with pencil which has made it a lot lighter than what it should be so I'm just going to reapply her eyeliner and her eyelashes and I do this with pencil over pen because pen usually comes out a lot thicker and makes her look not what I was going for so see already it's really highlighted and I'm going to do that as well. Highlighted those eyelashes for me. And the same there. So it's just gone. And then the same with this end. 
So just I'm trying to do them nice and fine. So just over the ones that she's given you. But I find it's better to do and with a harder pencil so it doesn't crumble. Um, as opposed to like a soft waxy pencil, I think it's just it always crumbles with me and comes out a lot thicker than what I was aiming for. So polychromos would be my choice of pencil at this point. You can get the finest fine liner that you got, but I just prefer to do it with a pencil. Preference is just something though. Hi Lossie! <laughs> Okay, and the same with, you know her part here, I'm just, it's pupil, isn't it? Pupil. I always get out lost in my brain somewhere. Just to highlight that. With this little bit in the eye, I'm just going to come in, you get henna or, this is um eights. But... Burnt Sienna 50%. I'm just going to put it into these little tear duct parts there. And then um, Crimson Aubergine. So I'm just uh, placing... I know I haven't got the cards out for those, but it just seems a bit silly. Just on those tiny little bits. Okay. Now you need a grey for the eyes, and then we've got to put some pigment in. I think I'm going to go for a brown. And then I'm going to go... Um, I've done quite a bit of sitting. So I need a nice light brown. Okay, I have to find it. Or oh, might do green. No, I'm gonna do green. Let me do green. So, I quite like a bright one first. Might be quite bright, but we'll see. Okay, let's have a go. I'll go for those, I think. That one's way too bright. Okay, grass green. Where's that one gone? Oh. Thank you. Um, I think that's right. Yeah, okay. So if I come in, it's really hard to see this though because it's super zoomed. I hope it's going to pick it up. Okay, so grass green is just going to go as a lighter colour. So I'm not going all the way. Oh, my stomach. Because I'll mix in a little bit lighter. And you also have a little bit of... Um, see, it's, it's quite heavily grayscaled, so I'm going to have to really sort of... going to mix that. Now I think I'll have to do the additional with some brown. Okay. So it's just kind of just placing a little bit in. What I think I'll have to get is dark brown just at the very tops here of the underneath. So just some people do have like a multicolor in their eyes but brown and green do work really well together as does grey and green. So it's just a shade in at the very tops. I'm just going to add a touch at the bottom. So you won't really see it because it's, to be honest, it's um, taking up all the grayscale. It's a heavily grayscaled. And then I'm just going to get my white. Just add in an extra dot. And then I'm just at the very bottom going to place like a little line just to make her stand out a bit more. Why is my stomach making so much noise? Okay, I need a bit of grey. Okay. 
this one is um, Payne's Grace 30%. Let's find your one. There we go. Okay, so grey on the eyes looks good. So I'm just going to go like at the tops here. And I'm lightly placing that in, just to take some of that white on edge off. Same with inside there. And then can you hear my stomach, Andrew? No. No. Mm. What's going on? Oh, it's alive. And then I'm going to get scarlet. Oh, not too. It wasn't that long ago. Maybe it's the digestive. I don't even know. I have no idea. Andrew's got. Oh, what's the time? Your old jacket potato's got going. Just stick the oven on. You've only got to stick it in. I'm nearly done. I'm just on the last part. I'm jealous, Kathy. <laughs> I'm jealous. Okay, and then with Scarlet, and I mean very slight, like it's barely visible, but you can see it. It looks a bit more lifelike. I'll go up close in a minute. I'm just placing in these tiny little, not on all bits. you'll see I don't know if it's picking one second can you pick up those tiny little veins they're teeny tiny they're just so small well that's all you need don't have to do them because you'll look bloodshot but just small amounts I think we might do these in reds I'm not sure yet we'll see um and her fingernails honestly I'm just going to get black but I'll do it in the I'll just do it in a fine liner or a felt tip. Or you can do it in your pencil. Um, what Let me just do this. Okay, so I'm literally just going black on her nails. I'm not going to shade them. There's no point. I fancy her. I mean, your black nails might look a bit glossy. So we'll put in a little bit of uh, white. But to be honest, I really just want black nails. I like dark nail varnish. I think it's uh, it always looks so nice. I just got black pencil, just any black. You can do fine liner, you can do felt dip, um, or you know water based marker, or pencil. And then what you can do is just get a tiny bit of white. I don't want to do it for Posca. I would advise get buff titanium or a white. It's entirely up to you. And just, um, you can do like a little shine on it, but it's not going to overrun. It's just going to just blend in a bit so it's got a little shine on the edge. Because if you do it in white Posca, it might just be, it might flood it. We can try it, but look, it, it's not thin enough for me. It might just, oh, I don't know. Maybe it will. Oh, okay. You know what? That's fine. Okay. I think that'll be her for today. So we've done all the skin and we've done her eyes and her eyebrows. Now the next time, not the next stream, the next stream is all the colouring books, um, will be her clothing, including the mask. Then we've just got to do her um, florals and leaves. I'll plan them on my other ones so we're prepared. And then I might just do a very subtle pastel background. But I really want to write a message of like hope at the bottom um, of some kind. But yeah, we'll see on that. But for now, with my array of pencils, I am done for today. <laughs> I can't believe how quick time goes. It's crazy. But yes, I'm not here Thursday. I don't do it every Thursday. Um, I'm here on Saturday. Um, so, if you are around, 1pm will be part 1, 1pm one UK time, so whatever that is in the world for you. What have I just dropped? Oh, my heat gun. 
<laughs> that's okay no no thank yous needed um you know keep safe but i'll see you on the next stream hopefully around in the week if not until then you keep yourself safe keep your family safe and stay upbeat as possible lots of love everyone take care bye